Hi everyone, this is Tanguy from HNT Wine Gallery. So today I'm going to uh, prepare and show you how to prepare one of my uh, favorite recipe, uh, which is uh, chorizo and uh, piquillo paella. So to make this paella, it's very easy. You need only a few ingredients. Uh, here I have some uh, chorizo de Pamplona. So chorizo that has basically some uh, paprika in it. We will also use a uh, half a garlic. Okay, that uh, should be enough. Then we're gonna use some uh, paella spices. Here we have spices that has already saffron in it. So that's perfect for, uh, for the paella already. Some uh, piquillo pepper. Here we're using leyenda brand, which is great. Some toasted tomato sauce we're using from uh, Valerio and then some paella rice. So this is basically uh, rice from uh, Valencia, Denominación de Origen, uh, Arroz de Valencia. And of course, we're gonna use chicken stock. So let's start doing our preparation. So for our garlic, uh, I like to smash it actually, so it's easier to uh, remove the, the skin actually. Also, when you, uh, you smash it, I find that it uh, liberates a bit more the flavors uh, and then it helps it. It's very easy to uh, remove the the skin after that it goes out very easily so once the skin is removed uh, you slice it up to two to three pieces uh, each clove of garlic and that would be enough Ta -da. then we're gonna take care of the chorizo so chorizo we don't want two small pieces also so first i'm gonna cut it into two okay and then after that we can cut it into two again and then once again into two once well, it's done, you can remove the skin of your chorizo. Huh? Actually, we could have done it before. So once you have split already your chorizo, uh, you will slice it into, I would say, about uh, 1.5 centimeters each, like that. So you have enough bites when you are eating your paella. I like it when there's uh, something uh, enough to, to bite. Huh? Voilà, and we'll be fine. So next step is a piquillo pepper. So we're gonna take our piquillo pepper and uh, we're gonna slice it into very thin uh, slices. So just like that, voila. So, so you should have approximately uh, half a cup of uh, piquillo pepper, huh? Voila, and you're good. So next step, <coughs> you're gonna put a bit of uh, olive oil, a bit extra virgin olive oil. Huh? You make sure that your pan actually has the oil well spread around. Huh? As it should be, okay, a little more. Well, I don't shook over all the bottom of your of your pan, huh? and then of course you put the fire on. Okay, I've preheated the oven at uh, 430, 450 uh, degrees uh, Fahrenheit, huh? uh, because we're gonna do one of part of the cooking in the in the oven. Huh? So we're adding our garlic. Okay. The aim is to get the flavors of everything. That's the, the role of a paella. Huh? Everything should have the, the flavors in the in the rice. Okay. So you don't burn your garlic, and it's just for uh, definitely for, for taste, huh? and to uh, let it uh, cook a little bit, but not to make it crispy. Huh? After you add your um, chorizo, so here we have the chorizo pamplona. So here you have the flavors of the chorizo, everything goes out, huh? it's very nice. So when this is done, you let everything on the side and you're gonna add your spices. So here are our spices, three teaspoons approximately huh? of spices. And you're gonna mix all ingredients together. Huh? Smells already very, very good. So if everything is mixed already, you're gonna add your tomato sauce. You're gonna add your chicken stock. So you put all your chicken stock 
and you let it go to a, a very uh, hard simmering boiling point. Huh? So you're gonna take a little bit of time. So it is already boiling, so you're gonna add your rice. So you spread the rice a little bit around. Huh? Make sure the rice is well covered, okay? And you're gonna start cooking five minutes at uh, high heat, okay? So very high heat, five minutes. Then after this, will be uh, 10, five to 10 more minutes at uh, medium heat. And then after we will uh, put it uh, five more minutes in the oven. So don't forget, of course, to try your uh, your broth uh, every now and then to see if it's uh, well seasoned, if it's salty enough. But the case for this one, it is already quite uh, salty because the chicken stock is already salty and then the chorizo is already salty. So that's fine. So once your 10 minutes has passed at medium heat, you're going to add the uh, piquillo pepper. So you spread it around the paella. Huh? So it looks nice, just like that. I'm talking approximately about half a cup of uh, piquillo pepper. Huh? It brings a bit of uh, of color. It has the colors of um, of Spanish flag. Voila. And once you have added your paper, you're gonna put the paella in the oven. So the oven is put at uh, 450 degrees, and you're gonna put your paella for five minutes. So when the paella is finishing cooking in the oven, I will give my uh, wine recommendations uh, for the for this uh, paella. So definitely, we can go for Frank Massa El Brindis, which is a uh, and the O uh, Monson from uh, from uh, Spain, which is very nice. Uh, or Classico Rioja. Here we have uh, Vinia Pomal Crianza, one of my favorite uh, Spanish wines, very affordable too. And uh, if you prefer something a bit more fruity and refreshing, uh, you can go definitely for Sangria. And Lolea Sangria is one of the best. So um, please enjoy your paella at home. Uh, we do offer this uh, package, paella, on our website, hg1gallery.com. So get yours and enjoy your pineya with your wines. Cheers! Thank you for watching this episode and don't forget to subscribe, like and share.